Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. I got my little cup of cocoa. Funny, when I mixed it up, I thought I was going to um, add some creamers to it, you know, those liquid ones that you get in the store. <laughs> they were provided here at the barn. Um, I'm staying in a barn. It's been converted. It's fantastic. I love it. Peace and quiet, serenity of the country. The chickens running around. Um, so, this is only three ingredients. Coconut sugar. Hershey's cocoa. And powdered milk. None of the three have any toxins in it for my body. Or anyone else's. But I... I thought, well, it would be a little creamier if I put, you know, like a little bit more milk in it this morning. So I was like, oh, I'll look. I got to look at the label. Yeah, there's all kinds of crap in those little creamers. Why are you putting those, that poison in your body? Just saying. So before I start my little uh, video of, of the reason, well, one of the reasons, I'm going to do two videos because it, I thought if I did them together, it would make it too long and people's attention span grows slim after a few minutes. So um, my calendar page for today is quite fitting, I think, and I'm going to read it at the beginning of my next video too because it's just so suitable for today because we are in the, the day of and at the third day of the Feast of the Trumpets. Now I'm going to say, doo, 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 doo. I'm a kid at heart. I always will be. So it says her attitude was as light as air. She had given God all her care. And that's the truth. Oh boy, is that the truth. And you know, that's something that people just have a problem with these days. They keep going into hiding the more the truth comes out. Or... They don't want to be associated with you for fear that they're going to be crucified as well. Just saying so. For those for those people out there, all I can say is be obedient and repent. Because the Lord knows what you're doing running in fear. Remember, fear's a liar. And we've got lots of those liars in this tyrant regime. What a web they are. Had to add the Better Business Bureau to that web. Yesterday, good greed. Can't even call. You can't even write into the Better Business Bureau a complaint because if the business doesn't doesn't respond, well, they just delete the complaint. <laughs> well, there you go. So where is the consumer pr protected? Um, you're not. That's the facts of life, and that's the truth. So, along the lines of um, the Feast of Trumpets. I thought it was fitting to um, discuss it. So um, I came across this beautifully, um, quite beautiful, I might add. Oh, I lost some more, I lost some more viewers. <laughs> Love that. This just, it just gets more fun by the minute. Future's female, just saying. <laughs> Anywho. Leviticus 23, verses 23 through 25, reads as follows. God proclaims the fall feasts, the first of which is the Feast of the Trumpets, literally in Hebrew, the day of the shout. Oh boy, and do I feel like I'm going to shout today. And you know, my friend Norma, who we graduated with, just, just uh, shared that they're having a class for rad coming up for for um, women and children to learn how to defend themselves. And Lord knows I use that to defend myself on multiple attackers. Just saying. What a free education that was. And I got to thank Norma and her team for that. Mwah. Anyway. We now move from the feast associated with the spring barley harvest and move to the festivals associated with the fall wheat harvest. God commands Moses to speak to the sons of Israel, saying in the seventh month, 
which is September, just so you know, they lied about the calendar too. <laughs> you know, when you seek the truth, you, you seek the truth across the board. And I'm a numbers girl, so Lord knows, I got to get the dates right. Just saying. So, where was I? With the seventh month, of the, on the first of the month, you shall have a rest. A remainder, a reminder by blowing of trumpets, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> a holy convocation. The Hebrew word for convocation is mikra, M-I-Q-R-A. I'm sure I just butchered that, but who cares? Which can mean rehearsal. Don't they always have a rehearsal before the wedding? You know, Jesus has come for his bride. Just saying. God gave his appointed times his holy rehearsals for a messianic, messianic, I think that's how you pronounce it, event in the future. Oh, that'd be the wedding of, of, of Jesus with his bride. Just saying. So exciting. It is the only appointed time occurring on a, on a first of the month. The Jewish calendar is a lunar calendar rather than a solar calendar. Therefore, biblically, the first of the month begins with the sighting of the new moon. Thus, no one knew precisely when this feast would start until the first sliver of the new moon was sighted in the western sky. Then they've got a nice little diagram showing, which you're not going to be able to see because, you know, my lamp oil is overflowing. <laughs> I mean, yesterday I had a whole day of rest. I was getting more toxins out of my body. Imagine that. You know, those little Glade plug-ins or whatever brand they are? Yeah, those are poison too. Unplug them and get them out of your house. Who cares how good your house smells? They're toxic. I could barely breathe. They were they were restricting my lungs. I had to unplug them all. As much as they smell delightful, they're not delightful for my temple. Just saying, nor are they for yours. So the diagram in this article shows the feast located on a circular representation of lunar months in a calendar year. The Jewish calendar was calibrated to lunar months. The inner blue wheel shows corresponding months in the solar calendar in common use in the West. That's why I call it fake calendar, just saying. Once the moon was sighted, bonfires would be lit on the hilltops of Israel to declare a new month. Since no one could predict exactly when the Feast of Trumpets would begin, it was termed by the rabbis the day no man knows the hour of. That's what I love. Man thinks they're going to figure it all out, and they just have no freaking clue. He holds the cards. He holds the key. They can try to alter it all they want, but at the end, God rules roost. They just forgot that part. That's what happens when you worship the devil. He is a deceiver. He is a liar. He is a thief. So, the day the, no, the day no man knows the hour of. In the current diaspora, or scattering of Jews to the nations during the Roman exile. Ooh, those are some interesting men now, weren't they? Not very nice men, are they? Like what they do? Sacrifice Jesus. 30 shekels. Just saying. I think that's right, 30. Yeah, 30. Yeah. Do you, it's, it's early morning. I've been up since two something, so if that's not the exact dollar, exact amount, you know, what you can do? Shoot me. Uh, so, anyway, let's get back to our story. So, the Jews. Observe the Feast of Trumpets for two consecutive days, since the new moon could occur on either of the two. 
The modern name for the Feast of Trumpet Trumpets is Rosh Hashanah. I hope that's okay. Please forgive me. Which is Hebrew for head of the year. Ever since the Babylonian exile. Some have wondered if Jesus was alluding to this appointed time when he said his second coming would occur. On a day that no man knows the hour of. There it is again. Mark 13 verse 32. Check that out. The, the phrase of trumpets is not in the Hebrew text. In Hebrew, this appointment is called the day of the shout. Do, 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 do. Shout is, oh boy, Torua. In Hebrew, in the ancient Near East, ram's horns of shofars were used to announce events to the public. The Torua blast from a shofar is one of several shofar signals that alert a city to an event. The Torua blast is a call to war. Many believe Paul was alluding to this appointed time when he said the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Oh, you know he's going to make a shout. <laughs> he's going to make a grand entrance. First Thessalonians, whoops, I don't know, come now. 4 verse 6, 4, 16, we know from scripture that when Jesus comes back to earth, he is coming to make our make war against the nations who have gathered against Jerusalem. Zechariah 14 and Revelations 19 verse 11. Today the Hebrew calendar has two <laughs> New Year holidays. A biblical one, first of Nisan. Um, and let's see, that would be, I can tell you. That would be between March and April. And the first of Tishrei, which is the seventh month, which is right now. Not the ninth month, the seventh month. Israel was commanded to have a rest on this holiday. The statement, you shall not do any laborious work, indicates that this is a day to which the Sabbath laws apply, irrespective of whether it falls on a Sabbath, which would be a Sunday. The final instruction for the Feast of Trumpets is you shall present an offering by fire to the Lord. See my fire burning with Jesus in the middle? Just saying. Can't get much better than that. The final instruction of the Feast of Trumpets is you shall present an offering by the fire of the Lord. Just so everybody heard that the first time. Though not detailed here, God in Numbers 29 gives all the details of the offerings for the feast that fall in the seventh month. The offerings for the Feast of Trumpets and the new moon on which it falls are outlined in Numbers 29 verses 1 through 6. Biblical text. Again, the Lord spake to Moses, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first of the month, you shall have a rest, a reminder of blowing the trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall not do any laborious work, but you shall present an offering by fire to the Lord. Okay, well, it's the 27th now. <laughs> so we're in 26 days later. Um... There's other commentaries, but we're going to stop right there because we're at 14 minutes, and I don't want people to get too, too bored or worn out because i got another one that's way more juicier than this one. So stay tuned. I've got more coming up because the future is sweet mail. Just saying. God gave me a voice. Had to have surgery on my esophagus because I was only at 50% from those poisons <laughs> from those medical facilities called pawning themselves out as heal centers when they are poison control centers, controlling the amount of poison that they prescribe to each individual. Funny, ran into a gal at Meyer 
She worked in the pharmacy for 14 years. When I said that to, you, to her, she said, I would agree with you 100%. It's amazing when you talk to people, what they tell you. Just saying. Where you think I get a lot of my knowledge? Talking to the real people from the horse's mouth. The stuff that they don't tell you on TV, that idiot box that I haven't turned on since I've been here. It could be a great tool, but it's it's become the worst mind-altering drug out there. Just saying. I'm calling a spade a spade. Stay tuned. More coming up. Love tall bunches and bunches. Bye now.